The Marple Youth Soccer Club has always been a predominantly Indo-Canadian club, but over the last few years it's become much more culturally diverse, which is a great way to teach cultural tolerance and understanding. It's not just about one culture, it's about all, and they need to embrace that. And that's what we promote. We celebrate everything here. We've um, celebrated the Indo-Canadian events, um, and you know, like I was telling you, with the Lunar New Year coming up, we're celebrating Chinese New Year, but we tell them, get us what's important with you, or what's going on in your life or in your culture, and promote it to the whole team. It's just about tolerance, right? We found that we've attracted over the past two years a lot more ethnic, diverse uh, children and families that have come to our club. The children are interacting with each other and developing friendships and so forth, understanding that there's really not much of a difference between them. And the large percentage of young Indo-Canadian girls that are playing in the club speaks to the barriers that have been broken. I don't remember in my time too many female girls playing, Indian Indo-Canadian girls playing soccer. Those barriers have been broken down to a great extent for female athletes. So, I mean, you could see with these girls here that uh, their dads are out, uh, encouraging and watching, and their mothers are out. So that's a significant sign that they're not only encouraging the children to participate in uh, team sports. For the province.com, I'm Larissa Cahoot.